Old men cannot do, cannot walk. They're quite stubborn. I think young people can also be stubborn. Dispel this myth of older people just being aunties and uncles. My name is Tik Jin. I'm 67. I'm a retiree. I do rock climbing. It was about 20 years ago, my older boys was doing rock climbing. Brought me down to a climbing gym. Since then, I fall in love with it. I'm Peter Chia. I'm 70 this year and I do parkour. I've been doing parkour for two years and I do it regularly every Saturday. I'm Khadija. I'm 64. I work in legal technology and I'm also a horse rider. I've been riding for about three years now. My husband is an avid horse rider. I took lessons and I soon grew to love it. When my son was doing rock climbing, I told him it's very dangerous, you may hurt yourself. But after I started doing rock climbing on my own, I noticed that you can mitigate all this danger, climb properly and have a proper warm-up. Some of my friends thought I was crazy. Why not do yoga, zumba? Why horse riding at this age? My daughter introduced this parkour to me. The surrounding is is my tools. Sometimes we feel that we are go back to our childhood, playing around the playground. Now we're gonna show you a video what people say on the street huh, about you guys. Today I'm gonna find out more about the silver ceiling. What do you think are like some common stereotypes of elderly? They're quite stubborn. Old men cannot do, cannot walk. I'm gonna play a game with you. Who do you think is good at climbing? The left one. one. Okay. Who do you think is good with horses? Number three. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is good with parkour tricks? <laughs> Maybe the last one. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the stereotype that all old people are stubborn, it may not be true. The youngsters do things fast and there's a different pace of life. Young people can also be stubborn. My wife always say I'm stubborn. If the youngster and the old come together, they will understand the senior well. I also think maybe there are not enough older role models dispel this myth of older people just being aunties and uncles. This is the one who likes to climb. He's 67. Ooh. I think that's really impressive that even when she's still old, she can still be interested <laughs> in trying out new things. This is the one who parkours. Oh. Oh, I, don't, I don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> It was so yeah. nice to see yeah. them being impressed That's and inspired. Yeah. Hope that this youngster, after viewing all this, as they grow, continue with their passion and just be yourself. Do you all think you can do all this at 60 and 70? It depends on passion. Doesn't matter like what age you are at. Don't let people dictate to you. You are never at your prime. Do you have any thoughts on like getting older? I'm a bit scared only because of what my body will be limited to be able to do. Everything that you do, you must first enjoy it first and then be happy with what you're doing. What age is considered old to you? We have to live our life to the fullness. Any things that you would like to say to all the people out there? As long as you haven't got what you want to do, snap out of it, just go and go. This is the first time I heard about silver ceiling. Maybe it's regarding to age as a limitation to your capabilities. It could be a ceiling that you impose on yourself, could be a ceiling that other people impose on you. It's a mindset that stops you from moving. Do not limit yourself, be open-minded and learn something. You might discover your passion. Hopefully, more senior people will move out of their comfort zone. Do it at your own pace. Once you start doing, there shouldn't be any stopping. Age should not be a barrier. You just have to pursue wow. your interests yeah. and do it sensibly, carefully, and you can push your boundaries whether you're 50, 60, 70 or beyond.